All right, we're out here at the fire area, and I realized the other day that we'd walk through how to get fire, but we haven't really walked through how to build a fire. So tonight I wanted to go through basically how to build a sustainable fire that you can go with even in wet conditions. You can see this stuff is fairly wet. It's been raining the last, I don't know, about a 36 hours or so. Um, everything is still extremely wet. And we're going to get you a nice little fire that should be about chest high in hopefully less than five to seven minutes. Uh, we got three piles of wood here. We have our um, small wood, which is about the size of a pencil blood. Uh, the next pile is going to be the uh, medium sized wood, which is about the size of your index finger. And then we have another pile, which is your wrist size fuel. Um, we're going to burn those in progression. Once one starts to ignite, we'll start to add uh, sticks from the other pile. Uh, you can use any type of fire you want. I just chose some jar lint because I was washing clothes a little bit ago, and that was what was left in there. So we'll go with that. Uh, you can use, once I said, any of the ones we've reviewed on the website, anything you got in your kit. Basically, if you can get a, uh, a flame with shore fire, or if you can get an ember with natural materials that you can blow into a flame, you're good to go. Just make sure it's enough that you can get your smaller materials to light. Without further ado, let's get our tender bundle going. All right, once you got the flame, start adding your smaller materials. The more chaotic, the better, because that allows the oxygen to get in there to help ignite your fuel. And we're going to need all the help we can get with this extremely wet material. Also note that I put down a piece of bark just to kind of help prevent the uh, lint from sucking up moisture and trying to get us a little bit better chance of getting this fire with as wet as everything is. Obviously if you can these smalls need to be as dry as you can possibly get them. And don't be afraid to use a huge tinder bundle or a couple of surefire type fire starters to start with because this is not an ideal condition, I'll tell you that right now. Everything is extremely, extremely wet. Don't be afraid also to induce a little oxygen to it. This is where a hat comes in good.
There's a whole lot of moisture in this. I'm sorry if you're getting a lot of smoke. It's going to be like that the whole video. I apologize in advance. Obviously, if you had dryer material, this would have kicked off a lot faster than this. But first, you gotta dry out all the material before you get the flame. So, by far, not ideal conditions for fire. But luckily, it's holding out on the rain. Oh, we're getting a few drops now and then. Alright, all my smaller sticks are on the pile now. Ideally you want a few more, but that's all we had laying around today, so. I'm now going to add a few from the fuel pile to start drying out. Which is your second, correction, your second pile, which is your finger size pile. Remember, no parent order is good. Chaos is where fire thrives. Once you do that again, just start infusing it with oxygen. as much as we can here to start drying out and we'll fuse it with some oxygen again real quick finger sized items and all the pencil sized items are on there. Once we get this going where the flames are up above the material and we have ignition of these materials we can move on to our fuel size and those are going to take a while to dry out. They are extremely wet.
taking a little bit longer than I like, but everything's extremely wet. Don't be afraid to pick up things off the side and throw them back up on the top. Alright, now we have a decent fire. Start throwing on a few of these fuel size sticks. Start drying out a little bit. You can see they're soaking wet. You can see all the moisture on those. Alright, see if I can give you a little bit better view now. Sorry about that guys, I lost power. I'm apparently at 6 or 7% an Android phone will quit recording on you on its own. So, um, about two minutes later I finally got the battery booster up to enough to where I can film now. So you're picking up two minutes after phone shut off, so whatever time frame that would be. I think it would be about 12 minutes by the count. Uh, it was a good bit higher. As you can see now, we need to add a little bit more fuel to it, and we're good to go for the rest of the night. You add a log roller to this, and you have an all-night fire.